19 to 4, Jazz Radio 94.1 FM. And it's time now to talk to one of our great Australian singers, Elizabeth Lord. Elizabeth's appeared in some wonderful musicals over the years, including Evita, Barnum, Jesus Christ Superstar. And Elizabeth's on the line. Elizabeth, thanks very much for joining us this afternoon. Hi, John. Nice to be with you. Well, it must have been a great thrill to appear in, uh, in those musicals, uh, particularly at a young age. Tell us how it all started. Well, I was fortunate that my parents allowed me to uh, be a part of amateur musicals in Canberra when we were living there in the in the seventies. Long time ago now, it seems like. But um, those amateur musicals really wet my taste buds, and I, I got this desire to to be on the big stage. So I really began with The Sound of Music as a postulant nun, then Fiddler on the Roof as Harva, the youngest daughter, who was very rebellious. And then uh, that led into uh, Finian's Rainbow. And from that, uh, I think I was in an amateur version of Jesus Christ Superstar. But I was always keeping my eye on the, the larger scene. And when Evita was re-auditioning for the lead role of Ava Peron, because the two girls playing Evita were both leaving to have children, have babies, uh, I noticed that and by good fortune and great luck, I was chosen to understudy Ava Peron. Did you actually get to do the uh, performance? Well, yeah, in many, many rehearsals I did, and I certainly was on stage every night, but no, the, at the time they had flown a great singer out from New York called Patti Lapone, uh, arguably one of the world's greatest singer-actors, and uh, this woman has got a powerhouse voice, was never going to allow a young upstart like me on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> I had to settle for uh, watching her as she sang Don't Cry For Me, Argentina. But I've, I've satisfied my uh, yearning with that song by including it often in my cabaret show settings. So, you know, it's found a home. Well, you've actually worked with some, uh, some great stars like people like Reg Livermore and Marsha Hines. Must be wonderful to work with them. Well, when you're, when you're a young, upcoming uh, vocalist and performer and at that time potentially even actor... You look to these people and you, you don't even realise at the time that they're, they're mentoring you and that you're learning so much. But then when you get older and you see that people also look to you in that way, you see that it's just, it's very cyclic, you know. We, we, we learn and then we teach. We learn and we teach and it happens your whole life. Yeah, that's, that's uh, very true. It does rub off. Now, you've got an interest in all types of music, haven't you? Well, I have really. I mean, from those, from those times doing uh, musical well, it really began with the jazz trio setting, which is what I'm coming back to on Monday night. But from those uh, jazz trio and then musical theatre times, I ended up somehow being in a, a band called Wawani, which was a funk band in the 80s. And we had great success. Well, I say we because the band really focused on the four male members in the band. And I was kind of like the young, uh, can I say inverted commas, attractive backing vocalist. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and uh, keyboard player, uh, backing keyboard player. But um, that's about as diverse as it gets, really, from, uh, from being, you know, performing all around the country in all the major entertainment centres and theatres and then being on Countdown and, uh, and uh, you know, Hey Hey It's Saturday and things like that in a, in a funk band. And, uh, yeah, I guess it, it, that's fairly diverse. Yeah, that must be a, uh, been a real highlight to appear on Countdown. That was, uh, if you could get on that, you really made it. Well, yeah, I sort of in spite of myself, I suppose. But, I, you know, I made sure all through my life I've kind of snapped photos of myself as if to say, look at me, how did I get here? And I'm standing next to all these different people. Like, you know, I remember when, uh, when Wamani supported Cindy Lauper at the ent Entertainment Centre in Sydney, and I'm, I'm on stage and the crowd are going absolutely berserk. It's got nothing to do with me, but I'm able to sort of, you know, enjoy the moment and pinch myself thinking, well, one day I'll be telling my kids and they won't even know who I'm talking about. Yeah, that's it. You've got to lap it up and soak it in. Fantastic. And, and not get too attached to it. I think it's been a blessing that I've skirted um, through fame because I honestly don't think I could have ever handled it anyway. It's such a... It's such an exposed life, and I can still go to Coles and do my shopping in my trackies, <laughs> and no <laughs> one cares. 
Well, you're coming to the Gold Coast City Jazz Club, our sponsor, on Monday, and that's going to be a great night, Southport Yacht Club. Tell us all about that, what our our listeners can expect, because a lot of our listeners are regulars at the Gold Coast City Jazz Club. Mm, Well, that's that's good. I'll be looking forward to meeting them. Uh, On that night, I'm going to mix my repertoire up a little bit because I will draw from some of the great songs from Broadway and beautiful tunes that have been famous in musicals that people will know and love, very tender songs, poignant songs, and I'm also a great fan of Latin jazz, so I'll be bringing some um, Antonio Carlos Jobim songs, which are often favourites with jazz club people. Yeah, they certainly are. And uh, and I think also just some great swing tunes from um, the last album I did, last jazz album I did, which was called Live at the Pandanus Lounge, and I... I included lots of great writers in there, like Jerome Kern, Cole Porter, Rogers and Hart, uh, and of course George and Ira Gershwin. So it'll be a mixed, it'll be a mixed bag of just songs that I love and songs I feel I can bring some integrity to and some heart and passion to. Well, that sounds like it's going to be a great night at the Southport Yacht Club, Gold Coast City Jazz Club. Elizabeth Lord and the trio from uh, seven to ten p.m. And Elizabeth, it's been a great pleasure talking to you this afternoon and uh, I hope you have a great night on Monday. Thank you and please remember that Steve Russell will be playing piano, Thierry Fosmali on bass and my husband Lee James, who's doing the sound, will also be guesting on some vocals with me. So it's going to be a very full night of music. Well, I'm sure you'll meet a lot of our listeners on uh, Monday night. Have a great night. Thanks a lot, John. Thanks, Elizabeth. That's uh, Elizabeth Lord appearing at the Gold Coast City Jazz Club, our sponsor. It's 12 to 4, Jazz Radio 94.1 FM. Next up, Fred Astaire.